Hey guys, welcome to the Ben Zone. Shalani here, and today we're going to talk about the best part and my favorite character in Deadpool 2, Domino. Now, if Domino was not your favorite character in the movie, let me know in the comment section below. Who was your favorite character? Was it Deadpool? Was it Russell? Was it Cable? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on who was your favorite character in the movie. And also guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more explanation videos, more breakdowns of your favorite movies, TV shows, and things of that nature. So definitely hit the subscribe button. But enough talk, let's just jump into the movie. Let's talk about Domino. Who is she? How does her power work? Where does she come from? Well, Domino as a character was created in 1992, but I don't want to go and give too much breakdown on her comic book history because you know how movies are. Usually you have a character based on a comic book, but they don't usually have the same origin stories or movies change things to make it seem more realistic. So we'll just get the basics of who Domino is and keep it in line with the Deadpool movie universe, which is also canonically part of the X-Men movie universe because you saw the cameo, you saw the X-Men in Deadpool. So Domino's real name is Nina Thurman. In the comic book, she was created similar to how X-23 from Logan was created as they tried to create the perfect mutant, but that didn't work out too well. But in the Deadpool movie universe, we see that she is a mutant born and she was put inside the same house as Russell. She grew up in, in the care of that same crazy scientist guy who pretty much abused all the mutants because he thinks mutant kind is a purge. She escapes and then years later we find her with Deadpool. Now it's pretty interesting that she was able to escape when you can see how adamant he is about keeping the mutants in there. Like how adamant he was about, about taking Russell back. But if we see what we see of Domino in the movie, we know that her luck power probably played a major role in it. And that's the biggest thing. Her powers are luck. And let's jump into her powers because this is crazy. She probably has one of the most overpowered powers in comic book movie history. And that's because her power is luck. Like, how, like Deadpool says in the movie, luck is just lazy writing. Luck is not a real superpower. But for Domino it is. In the comics, her powers are explained as she has subconscious probability manipulation in a form of telekinesis. Well, essentially what that, all that mumbo jumbo jargon means is that Domino has the power to affect the outcomes around her. However, it's a subconscious control. In the way that Deadpool is able to automatically heal up or how Wolverine is able to have his claws come out or Cyclops fire his, well not Cyclops, it's a terrible example, but how Gene is able to move things, how mutants, Mystique, Magneto are able to consciously use their powers and manipulate things around them. Domino doesn't have that control over her powers. Her powers are subconscious and reactionary in a sense. It, essentially, it means that she can't control her powers. Her powers work without her, but they work to protect her and to help her and to give her the best luck. Like for example, Domino cannot make stuff happen, but it will happen. If she wants to win the lotto, she can't make it so, but it will be so. Like you saw in the movie, like if someone tries to shoot Domino, their gun will jam. And that's because subconsciously her probability manipulation is at work. And in that, and in that vein, she, she kind of manipulates reality in a sense. So you could say that Domino is a reality warper in the sense that she's able to move stuff slightly. However, as overpowered as her powers are, they make the improbable happen, but they can't make the impossible happen. Essentially, essentially if there's something that's gonna happen that's impossible for Domino to survive, she will not survive. If it's improbable, she probably will. For example, as you saw in the movie, when someone tried to shoot her with a gun, the gun jammed, because it's possible a gun could jam, but let's say Domino is standing still and a car is about to hit her. If the car is going at 70 miles per hour and the car is going straight and the car is not moving and there's no way for the car to turn, there's essentially no way for Domino to escape, Domino will get ran over. However, if there's a slight chance that the car could break down before it gets close to her and by the time it gets to her, it doesn't hit her, it could happen. Like you saw her fight against Cable. The fact that she, every time she moves, Cable's unable to hit her. But if Domino were to stand still, Cable would hit her every time because her luck is essentially probability manipulation. So if something's gonna happen 100% of the time, then it's gonna happen 100% of the time. But if there's a small chance, a 99.9% .9 chance that it's gonna happen, so there's a 0.1% chance it might not happen, it probably won't happen. So Domino in the movies has arguably the most overpowered ability. We saw this when she jumped out the airplane with the rest of X-Force and the winds took everyone to their gruesome end and Domino was able to safely glide onto the caravan. And we also saw when the caravan flipped over and sent her and Cable flying, Cable went flying somewhere. She landed gently on a balloon bear thingy 
And that's pretty much how her powers work. And in this entire movie, you have her character exploiting this ability. And, and I'm not going to lie, this power is one of the best powers you can have if you think about it. The ability to always be lucky, no matter what happens, unconsciously. So it's not like you can mess it up. Because, you know, if, you, if she probably had the powers to control the luck consciously, she probably would mess something up. But the fact that it's happening without her control subconsciously, reality is essentially being bended to her subconscious will, it's able to help her in the long run. And I look forward to seeing more of Domino in the future Deadpool movies because I just love her character. The way her character was presented, the way that, unlike the comic book variant of Domino, this character, played by Zazie Beetz, was more charming, more fun, and overall more carefree and laid back because of the nature of her powers and just because of how lackadaisical they were when it worked. So I enjoyed it. That's Domino. We don't know much about her in the movie universe, but if you guys want me to do more of an in-depth breakdown of the comic book character and herself, let me know in the comment section below because I'm thoroughly excited about this character. I loved every moment of her in Deadpool 2, and I'm looking forward to her. And arguably, like I said, the most powerful mutant ability we've seen on screen because just by probability, just by warping reality around you subconsciously, it's pretty overpowered. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. Check out some other videos on the channel. And until next time, binge on.